just be out with us. To Nazareth, Portugal. Today we're traveling from Aveiro to Nazareth on the bus. And our bus is already half an hour late. The ride is supposed to be just under two hours. So we'll see if we'll ever make it to Nazareth today. Just, just be out, out with us. Finally, an hour and a half later, the bus arrived. And now we're heading to Nazareth. We just got off the bus and now we trying to get into the Airbnb to leave our suitcases but the Airbnb host said that she can only get here at 3 so we still have about another 2-3 hours so we found this place that has really good Wi-Fi and the food looks amazing so we're just gonna have something to eat and get some work done. We ordered a charcuterie board with black pig and variety of cheeses. We just checked into our Airbnb, we dropped our bags but immediately came right back out but fortunately enough, the Airbnb is really close. It's literally right on the beach. And the beach is beautiful. The weather is amazing. So let's talk about Nazareth just a little bit. The reason why we came here is because this place in, is known for a massive cliff, which is right behind us. And on top of that, that cliff is a beautiful observation where you can watch the biggest waves the waves here reach up to a hundred feet sometimes but we just found out that the wave season is november through march pretty much like in hawaii uh, there are a lot of surfers come here to surf with this massive waves and we did see a few uh surfing instructors on the beach uh, teaching people how to surf even though there's not much waves right now if you guys want to see what this beach looks like we actually walked from one end to the next it took us about maybe just under half an hour we'll leave the link to the description of that walking video we have a second youtube channel where we publish walking tours anywhere we travel and everywhere we travel so so far Nazareth first impressions I like it it's a cute town it's really nice all the buildings are really 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 white and the roofs are red it's really cool and it's layered and it's up on a cliff right now the beach that we're on as you can see the cliff behind us we're kind of nestled at the bottom tomorrow we'll be going up top to explore and see what it's all about now to get up top there's a few ways to do that you can just walk up but it'll probably be a struggle because those hills look massively steep um, but you can take a funicular up which we'll probably do I am actually really surprised how calm the waters are today. We Yesterday we were just and two hours away in Aveiro. We went to Costa Nova. If you haven't seen that video, we will leave the link in the description below. And the waves, the ocean was much rougher there in Costa Nova. And here there are a little bit of waves, such a small shore break, but a lot of people are in the water. Yes, the, the beach is actually really packed. There are a lot of people on the beach enjoying the water. The sand is really nice at times. There are tiny rocks in the sand and some parts of the sand are really soft and powdery. There is no natural shade here on the beach, but they, there are some tents Which is for right rent. behind us. You see all those cute little tents? They're all the same and they're just lined up. All the same size, striped colors, really cool. And they're cool. close to each other. And I'm not sure whether you have to rent them. I don't know what the process is. I mean, a lot of them seem empty. Um, but we'll find out. But we'll find out for you guys and let you know if it is a rental situation or not. I'm sure it probably is. And a lot of people bring their own umbrellas and chairs and just relaxing on the beach. The yeah. vibe is really nice and relaxing. The town and the beach are pretty small. It's, everything is in walking distance. And I could actually imagine what it would look like here. In just a few hours, the sun is getting ready to go down. It's probably so beautiful here in this town during sunset because all these buildings that are to the left of us, they're facing the Atlantic Ocean to the right and that's where the sun is setting. So it's an unobstructed view of the sunset and everybody gets it so it's really 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 cool
So as the sun went down, it was a beautiful sunset. We decided, you know what? Let's kind of come out here and see what this town has to offer at night. And today is Friday, so it should be popping off. I already see some neon lights. There are a lot of people out. It is such a pleasant evening. During the day, it was super it hot. It was super hot. And right now, it's a little bit cooler. It's mm -hmm. not cold. It's not even windy. So yeah, it's really calm right now. Nazareth at night is happening. There are so many people out. It is almost 11 p.m. and all the restaurants, I'm talking about all the restaurants, are still packed. Maybe it is because of the sporting event, because it's still on. I don't understand how they're still playing. And the variety of people here in Nazareth ranges from toddlers, to older people and everybody in between all age groups and even if we wanted to have a dinner right now we wouldn't even be able to get a table at this moment we just finished filming Nazare walking tour in the evening and we will leave the link in the description below if you've been to Nazare before let us know in the comments is it always this busy because right now it looks like it's even more crowded than in Porto. This is it for tonight. We are calling it a night even though it's bustling out here and it's a lot of fun but we have so much to cover tomorrow so we're calling it a night but tomorrow we are going to bring you the best of Nazareth. <laughs> That's right. If you want to see more of Nazareth and more of Just Be Out, Irina and Devon, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the like button. Cheese. We'll see you tomorrow.